Every game has something that players love to complain about in terms of balancing. Counter-Strike has pistols, Dota has Enchantress as passive, and don't even get me started about League of Legends. But in Siege, people don't so much cry about the guns or the gadgets or the operators as much as they do the maps. Whether you're queuing into an ongoing match on Yacht, or just wondering what the hell happened with the Hereford rework, there is a good chance that you found yourself complaining about the areas on which we siege heads throw down. They just cheated! He just cheated! He just cheated! That's inconceivable! So ready those cursors over the return to menu button and start praying for bank, because we are about to count down the top 10 worst maps in Rainbow Six Siege. Kicking off our list, we have what is arguably the most awful map in Siege, Bartlett fucking University. The only reason this map isn't higher on our list is because it should never have seen PvP play to begin with. Oh, you're inside, Juby? Yes, I am. Well, upstairs is clear. Oh, he fucking knifed me, bro. <laughs> oh. Can you say that before? Is that what happened? Can you tell me? Originally designed for Siege's PvE co-op mode, Article 5, Bartlett was rejigged for PvP at the behest of the community. It was for a PvE mode in these situations. It was the 11th situation of the game. Who, despite Ubisoft's many warnings that the map wasn't suitable for multiplayer, were eager to give it a go. Man, were they misguided. Listen, even, even if you win the game on Bartlett, you lose, okay? There's no winners on Bartlett. Anyone that's playing on Bartlett automatically is at a loss. Needless to say, the map was a certifiable nightmare. In addition to having only one door, Bartlett was famous for its spawn peaks. Thankfully, it was removed from both ranked and casual play in patch 3.1.0 and is currently the only map that's been removed from all rotations. Coming in at number nine is good old theme park. Contrary to what you might expect, Theme Park isn't known for being a happy-go-lucky place where players experience feelings of childlike glee. It's a run-down, convoluted, and oversized death trap where dreams go to die. Attractions include target shooting, the beanbag toss, and operator cutouts where the whole family can gather for a photo op. Praise be to Papa Ubi that this map is finally being taken out of rank. Mother dude. Mother this guy's just peeking. so This guy, hate him. Taking the eighth spot on our list is one of the blandest and most aggravatingly linear maps in all of Siege, Fortress. I switch guns! Uh-huh, I thought that was like an operator thing. Shut up! Aside from the fact that it boasts virtually no vertical play, everything looks exactly the same, making callouts maddeningly ineffective. Go ahead, try telling one of your teammates that their opponent's on white stairs, and see which of the three they run to. Why is he downstairs? This game is This game is game. I wish I could see Props to Ubi for taking this map out of ranked as well. No! Shame! Coming in at number seven is Chalet, one of the most hated maps in the history of competitive siege. It's absurdly attacker-sided, given that bandit tricking is basically impossible, there's a zillion external windows, and rotations are extremely difficult to execute as a result. This game! No, let me show you. Can you shoot? Can you shoot? Honestly, the only way for the defenders to win is to do shit like this. To think that this used to be a pro league map. Taking the sixth spot on our list is Yacht, the closest thing Siege has ever seen to hell freezing over. 
There's nothing worse than queuing into casual for a quick warm up before you play your ranked game and finding yourself down 2 nothing on what is quite literally a sinking ship. Don't kid yourself, the only reason you even play this map is because you're too lazy to return to menu. Coming in at the halfway point in our list is Siege's very own Spawn Killer's Paradise, Old Canal. From the cross map window peaks to the rooftop runouts, every time you approach the actual building, it feels like you're trying to storm the beaches of Normandy. Okay. Thank you for lining up today. <laughs> Thank the Lord Tachanka that Ubisoft finally decided to rework this map, even if the new one is in need of some tweaking. Taking the fourth spot on our list is none other than New Hereford, the only map to ever get worse after its rework. Uh, Hereford Rework, okay, so... Hereford Rework was a dumpster fire. My god, dude, this game! Let me fucking ADS! It's dark, dreary, impossible to see enemies in, and its top floor is the most unassailable bomb site in all of Siege. Me in the S. It's a dread-filled dumpster where gadgets mean nothing, and attackers have no choice but to sell their souls to Lion, Blackbeard, and Blitz. Shitter. Fuck you! What the f This game is so bad! I'm sure. Hey, shields, dude. Coming in at number three is every ranked player's worst nightmare, Skyscraper. Uh, what happens on Skyscraper isn't actually Rainbow Six Siege. It's some sick variation game that uh, I don't really enjoy. Um, and that, that's, that's brutal, but I, I just all the windows, all the balconies on Skyscraper, you're all, it seems like every gunfight takes place like through a window or a door from outside to in. And I like the newer maps where they give kind of buffer rooms around the objectives and allow you like get inside and you know, clear corners and stuff like that. So Skyscraper by far my least favorite map in the game. To this day, Skyscraper remains oh, the most mean. claustrophobic map in Siege. What the fuck? What the fuck? Come on, he jumped in my window! Guys, you're not covering anything! The map's fucking garbage. You can put me on the record for that, I don't even care. I'll say that anyway. I literally tweeted out like almost weekly. Fuck Skyscraper, that map sucks. It's not even that Skyscraper is the worst map in Siege. It's that it's the worst map to last this long in ranked. Even after taking out Hereford, Fortress, and Theme Park, Ubisoft decided to leave Skyscraper in the rotation, making it the most groan-inducing map to lose ELO on. Live! Taking the penultimate spot on our list is a map that defies all expectations as to what a Siege map should be, Tower. I think it's the worst map they've ever designed. It has no vertical play. It is huge. Defenders have a field day roaming on it. I, I, there's not a lot of setups you can do on, on it that makes it unique. There's like no ver diversity in how you set it up. I hate it. I, I despise it with a passion. I, no, it, it feels like a different game when you play on tower. And that's why I despise it. In terms of layout, there's no question that no map inspires the sheer unadulterated rage the tower does. Just think about it. It's like you're playing a weird Call of Duty meets Battlefield hybrid, except with a boatload of siege mechanics that really have no bearing on the outcome of the match. Roamers have free reign, attackers can camp balconies that defenders don't even have access to, and in addition to having virtually zero vertical play, it is impossible to navigate and or drone. Tower is where Siege goes to die. Oh, what? That, that was a headshot? What? What happens when you make a Siege map that's almost completely destructible? The one and only fucking favela. Chunka, no! I'm gonna try to cover you, dude. I'm gonna stop him. Oh. I got, I got, uh, segregation. Oh, I got right there. Oh, please, alone. I, I got it, I got it. Nice, nice, nice. The premise of Favela was simple. Make it so that nearly every external wall can be clanged, rattled, and banged. 
The result was a clusterfuck, the likes of which Siege had never seen before. Easy. Easy. Literally. Easiest spawn kill of my life. A meme fest in which strats are irrelevant and glitches, runouts, recruit rushes, and Tachanka turrets are the norm. Dude, you are the shit. <laughs> well, guys, that's it. Those are the top 10 worst maps in Rainbow Six Siege. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and let us know in the comments whether you think Skyscraper should still be in the ranked pool. See you next time. Thanks for watching. If you want more content like this, hit the sub button and ring that notification bell. For unique bite sized videos you won't find anywhere else, hit up our Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook pages.